Isambula vinaka talofa Maori fakalofa atu kio orana and good morning. It is my pleasure to share with you information on our valued Pacific collection or pack as we refer to it, which is one of its kind in the Pacific. What you have just heard is a style of singing that has evolved of ancient Polynesian navigational chants. It was recorded by the world-renowned ethnomusicologist David Fangshaw. PAC is a special collection of published and unpublished materials about the Pacific by Pacific Islanders and others and retrieved from all over the world. It contains materials about Melanesia, Polynesia and Micronesia and spans a vast oceanic region. If you can imagine Hawaii in the north, Easter Island in the east, New Zealand in the south, and PNG in the west. With over 70,000 titles, it includes much more than your normal library resource of books, journals, magazines, and newspapers. You will find such gems in the form of theses, consultancy reports, government documents, conference and symposia proceedings, and similar to what you heard at the beginning of this talk, audiovisual resources such as sound recordings and microforms. Maps, posters, photographs and ephemera are our other treasures. And did you know? USB Library serves as a depository library for Fiji. This means that by law, it must receive a complimentary copy of everything published in the country with a stated purpose of preserving the nation's cultural and intellectual heritage. All these materials are part of the collection of the various projects undertaken by the team of staff in PAC. Two very interesting projects deserve mention. The first is a collaborative effort between the National Archives of Fiji, the Fiji Times and the USB Library whereby all Fiji Times newspapers dating back to its very first edition of 4th September 1869 have been digitized using optical character recognition for easy searching. Newspapers carry information on current events and service, useful primary sources for historical research, and they reflect the time period in which they were created and provide a glimpse into society at a particular time. The second is a collective with a Australian National University, which relies on the generosity of traveling scholars to cart maps between USB and ANU. Going into its sixth year, over 350 maps from the Pacific Collection have been digitized with metadata added. Non-copyrighted maps are added to the ANU Library's Open Research Archive as part of its Asia-Pacific Map Collection. Given the objective of this project to preserve, conserve, and make accessible these map holdings. And finally, with over two-thirds of its print items considered rare, the oldest book in the Pacific Collection is A Voyage to the South Seas in the years 1740 to 1741. It contains a narrative of the loss of His Majesty's ship and was published in 1743. In the world of book trading, a similar title was just recently auctioned and sold for over US $3,000. So one can just imagine the worth in monetary, academic and historical terms of this most valuable collection, which we encourage access to and use of. Check out our holdings via our library catalog, search at USB Library. Thank you for listening.